Welcome to Real Physics. This is a series of short clips about unsolved mysteries in physics. And today I will talk about radioactivity. There are three types of radioactivity. You have alpha decay, heavy helium nuclei getting thrown out of, of other heavy nuclei. If just a nucleus is too heavy, it gets rid of parts of it. And then you have nuclei which have too many neutrons, so they neutrons transfer into protons and electrons and the ele electrons getting out uh, thrown at a very high velocity which is called beta decay and then we have gamma decay it's just an oscillating nucleus that radiates electromagnetic uh, waves so what's the problem the problem is we have no reason why radioactivity exists at all i've talked about missing energy in beta decay and the riddles there uh, but there is no reason in first play why nature should have invented such a thing as radioactivity you could imagine just nuclei living peacefully without getting rid of the alpha particles or other nuclei just stable and uh, there would be no need for emitting fast electrons or why do uh, nuclei oscillate? Okay, we might say everything oscillates, that's okay, gamma decay. But there must be a reason in first place why nature does need radioactivity. You might say, okay, without radioactivity we wouldn't have atomic bombs and we wouldn't have nuclear energy. So uh, some people would say that's fine. But this is not an ecologist discussion, it's about fundamental physics. In fact, there is a reason missing. Physicists have failed to explain, haven't found yet, why there is a necessity for this radioactivity. And I would like to remember Niels Bohr, uh, by the way, the guy who explained atomic physics with quantum mechanics, one of the founding fathers of quantum mechanics, and he said that for explaining the atomic nucleus, which is a very different thing, um, physics might need another revolution as consequential as the quantum mechanics revolution. So I believe that uh, physicists haven't understood the nucleus very well. We don't know how to calculate all the lifetimes, all the, all the energies of, of the different decays. And there is a lot, of, lot to understand about the nucleus and in first place we have to explain the very reason for radioactivity. If you enjoyed the video don't forget to like it and if you're interested in fundamental questions subscribe to this channel.